All right, real shit. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Squad Brunch, episode number 25. We are here in Lawrence, Kansas. Had the best basketball game that we have ever been to. A lot of weird shit going on in the States that we're going to be talking about. The UFOs landing and shit. Steph getting cock-blocked. That's been a wild phenomenon going around uh, Kansas, Lawrence. Um, and uh, Chippy. What about me? Zippy Chippy. What about me? What'd what? you get new last night? We're not talking about this right now. <laughs> I'm, weird, I'm just chilling, dude. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. How was your week, though, in Kansas? I had a great time. Was it just great? I, I, love, I like Kansas. Yeah. I like Lawrence, Kansas. It was fucking cold, though. It was snowing. Yeah, just for one day. But honestly, it wasn't that bad, the weather. I thought it was me colder. This was the ba- This was definitely a shock, though, from coming, coming to yeah, Arizona yeah. last yeah. week, bro. 20 degree weather to. Snow and my balls are tingling, man. <laughs> Twenty degree drop in temperature God for some <laughs> The fucking holy fuck, holy shit, fucking stuff, man. What? Man, not even a words. fucking word right there. He just shook just, his head, I man. Honestly, was I zoned out? How was <laughs> your week? <laughs> was Amazing. 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 I had a good time. What was your favorite part about the week? The, probably the basketball game. Mm, yeah, it was hard. That was hard to beat. That was fucking that electric. Was, that was crazy ass game. Fourth row. Shout out to ZBT guys for letting yeah, us in there. Yeah, great seats. You guys are absolute legends for that. Beauties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, overall, Kansas, bar life, Greek life, athletics. What would you guys think about it? Started off the week at Bullwinkos. Wink- <laughs> what? Bullwinkos? Yo, dude. What the fuck is going on? Right? Bullwinkos. Lingo. Winkles. Yeah, Winkles. Bullwinkles. Bull weird name, though. Bullwinkle. Yeah. Weird name, small place. Yeah. Pretty small. Yeah. Packed. Pack. Slam packed. Slammed in there. Slam packed. Well, it was also didn't help that it was cold. Half the place was outdoors. Yeah, no one was outside. So everyone just shoved their ass inside. I see a little bit on the patio. Yeah, until we kind of moved out there. Yeah, that area was dead, though, mm-hmm. before we were there. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. The fucking benches were covered in ice. First thing I see when I get there, so our good. photographer eats shit. He, which uh, what? Yeah. Wait, he did? The, I think it was Moses. Or was it? No, it was Kobe. He ate shit? Yeah. yeah. What a beast. He fucking just instantly. It was so slick, that thing. Man. Oh, my. Yeah, dude. On the seats, yeah, ice yeah. all over the place. Yeah, be careful out there. Did anyone get that bodyguard's name? Omar. He's the oh, absolute security, legend, man. Omar. Yeah, that guy was... Wait, why? He's the goat. He was just all he's night long. He was just helping us out. Absolute beauty. Really nice guy to talk to. Yeah. Just did he's his just job a right. homie. Yeah, he's a homie. Omar. He's uh, he's now a fan of the boys, so he might be listening to this. Mm-hmm. Oh, Fuck let's him. go. Omar's a man. Omar. How'd Omar. you guys like the bull? It was all right. Just yeah, it was, it was cold outside. I was cold. You were freezing. I wasn't that cold. Yeah, it wasn't cold. The either. heaters helped. The, the heaters the, were a big thing with the jacket and the, the heaters. heaters. <laughs> it was pretty clutch. Yeah, the heaters helped a lot. Dude, but sneaky yeah. good bar scene here though. I will Dude, say that. they nah. have so many places. That's what? what? That's in sync. <laughs> what? Um, I will say you don't like it. It was pretty sneaky. No, I liked it, bro. The, I, they're big three: the hawk, areas. the bull, the wheel. Then they have a few other ones. They have Leroy's. I think it's Logies, bro. They got like a lot. The cave, the wheel. Yeah, but the hot, like the one that they were all like hyping up the most, the patio the hot, was lit. Bro, it was good. It was just you like missed, very. You missed it. I'd rather just a giant place rather than like ten different small ass rooms. But the sky bar has a lot of. If you look at all, it's bigger. Does it's big, bar, it, doesn't it's sky bar have like a lot of rooms? Did you even go to sky bar? No, no. I did. I'm just saying, didn't <laughs> yeah. have a lot of rooms. Yeah, it had a lot of big ass rooms. Like okay. fucking the entire size of that whole place was one room. Got you. Their boom boom room, of sky, sky bar's boom boom room. Is all of the hawk? Mm. Yeah, it was a big room, but like I, f- the patio fucked the boom boom room of the hawk. Not great. Smells a little musty down there. <laughs> oh, God, sting, dude. Dude, bro. Somebody probably yacked down there fifty years ago. Has been clean since. Yeah, <laughs> but the patio was sick. It was a good vibe. What we was that at there. the back? It was right before the boom boom room. Okay. Yeah, like that section there. It, it filled up after you left, and then it was it was really good. We were just chilling right by the bar. People getting us shit. drinks. Yeah. Fan, dude. A lot of love and. F- King Kansas, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say that for it. sure. Shit ton, man. Love. It's great. A lot of, a lot of boys. Nice shit, people, too. Everywhere Not one went. chirp. Even at the gym, a lot of people. Yeah, the a lot gym. of gym bros. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. All yeah. the bouncers, too, at the Hawk, bro. Dude. Every single one. Bro, every one of them oh, was yeah. like, oh, yeah, you're the boys. You can just, dude, one guy was like, looked at me. He's like, oh, you can just go. Like, he wasn't letting anyone go. He's like, oh, you're the boy. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, it was a beauty. Yeah. But yeah, bar scene. I think I think Kansas has a very good bar scene. I agree. I, I really like the bar very scene. Very good, I, dude. They have a lot of solid spots. They do. And the so, Hawk, I think, I think is so too. That's a top bar, man. Like that's a sneaky. Bro, room. the patio was lit, dude. Like yeah. bumping, okay. bumping. Like that was the best bar we've been to on this whole trip so far. It feels like though, like once again, like they don't go hard though. 
What do you mean by that? Mm-hmm. Like the boom boom room, I'm expecting to walk into that place, music blaring, can't hear someone beside me, just vibes rolling, greasy people all up against each other. There was a lot of greasy people all up against each other. But there's no rage. It was just a talk. The music was like super low to the point where like you can easily have a conversation. Like if I, the boom boom room is not for talking. What's it for? If you know what I mean. I don't know. <laughs> what you mean. For, what's, what's it for? It's for, for the boom boom, bro. Boom, boom. You trying boom, to go boom boom? Wanna, boom. Yeah, boom, I want to be fist pumping my fucking arm off that night. So I mean, could have been questionable. I don't know, but we've been to other boom boom rooms where it's not like that. Like the boom boom room, technically in Auburn, like that wasn't that like jumpy. Like yo, rave, let's go. It was kind of chill. What? It was chill that Saturday night. No, it was. Dude. It was chill. It was dude. bumping, bro. It we was were on chi- stage dubbing and shit, bro. Okay, that that one like hour stretch but the the next <laughs> night that we were there was like literally you could like the whole back crowd was empty and you could literally just stand there in the crowd and just kind of like do this just kind of vibe there's nothing really going on <laughs> what why'd you slap it's mikey no he's my dad <laughs> what'd you like about the hawk the hawk Bro, right. where the fuck did you go, dude? We fucking I wish were I was talking to some of the boys. I yeah, it. but we were calling you to telling you to come outside. You're like, okay, I thought you went to another Bro, line. It at was one like point. it was like it's like a maze to get out though. It is kind of a maze to get That's out. That's what was happening. And then the basketball team had come. Yes. And then like everyone like made room for them. Just shifted. Yeah. Wait, yes. where were you though? The boom boom room when we were trying to call you and shit. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I was at the uh, one of the bars. Patio like, inside. Okay, because like yeah, you got lost, man. Like, what the fuck? I was so literally no, so amazed. that's what happened. Now I remember, bro. It's like a. <laughs> I remember seeing you guys downstairs, you two, and then I was following one of the boys. I'm like, "How do I get to them?" Because there's like a ma- like there's a one way. It's there's a maze. A, yeah, it's a maze. There's a bodyguard standing at one of the doors. I'm like, "One you yep. go, once you go through, he wasn't letting you go back." Yeah. So we made a mistake of coming up, and then we're like, oh, "Can't get back down," and they go all the way around. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. we fucked it up. Fuck. That place was very confusing, man. For very. A bar. Had no idea where I was going. When Lost. the guy was leading us there, I was like, "Dude, where the fuck are we going?" We made so many turns, went in yeah. so many different rooms. Yep. That's what's up. What about the cave? I think that was a sick vibe. Interesting, though. Like, to, the way to get to the cave is just super interesting. It's like a parking garage. You go in, and it's got, like, the advertisement for the cave. Like, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. makes sense, I guess. No, it's I very know. cool. No, yeah. it is cool, but it's just, like, really odd to get there. It's, like, like, it's felt like we went to, like, some low-key underground, like, fucking club in Europe. The name says it perfect, the cave. Yeah. That was, yeah, but it was, like, dead. Like, yeah. It was well, that's because, dead. like, what, a frat? It was a private event. Yeah, yeah. Private, private event. event. Yeah, so maybe when it's pu- open to the public, it's more packed. But no, it's only for private. The cave is only for private events. Ooh. Yeah, they don't. So open I mean, up that's the just public. dependent then. On, yeah, you know, depending on who the crowd is. Yeah, yeah, but it, like we got there and I was like, I thought we were gonna be like raging, and I was like, oh, not really. It's kind of like there were people on the dance floor, but it was <laughs> like yeah, it was not chill. filled. You know what yeah. I mean? It was a little more chill. I like the setup of it though. Like it has setup a, was it has sick. Layout, setup so. was sick. I think Kansas bar scene. Bro, that had potential. That cave had potential for like a oh. fucking sick DJ to be playing oh. down dude, there. You're all yeah. night of your life. Packed, you're dropping bangers. Dude, you could have like sick. loud luxury. I can see like a loud luxury coming for a fucking maybe one-off. not loud luxury. Yeah, it's kind of no. Little, they could. Too small. Maybe like a disco lines. Yeah. Oh yeah, disco lines would rage that shit off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's true. It's too, yeah. Too small. Do you know what a disco line is? I've heard. What yeah. it is. You want to You can explain it though. It's uh, it's a line of cocaine and Molly. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a disco line. I saw you a couple of those last night. No, man, no, that does not happen. You People sure you didn't, you yeah, sure you didn't yeah, blow yeah, down? You love to fucking what? You want them to think we do coke? I just like to say it as a joke. It's just why well, they think it now. No, it's because <laughs> that one quote. It. He has that. One I literally quote. had a quote in one of our in the Indiana video. Do you know like, what the quote was? I love cocaine. Quote Bro, that, and I said quote that. I literally didn't want to say it in the Chipotle because I'm scared if I say it, like people are just gonna hear cocaine and like people will assume we do coke. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't say it. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> man, hell, oh, man. White people do coke. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. That's what's sure. up. That's what's up. How'd you guys like the game? <laughs> Best basketball game we'll, we'll ever Bro, be. That was better yeah. than a lot of football games. Dude, that was fucking electric. Dude, Allen Fieldhouse was just fucking rocking, man. Unbelievable. I was expecting a really good game, but that honestly was way better than I thought it'd be. That, that topped all my... That, I, I couldn't Top all my expectations. Every time I would look around, it was I was in awe seeing all the people. You love all that the, shit. I love it. Yeah, I think when a team gets blows out or like isn't, you know, they're gonna win. It just doesn't make for a great game. Like all the best games we've been to have been like either back and forth battles, 
or you know a Next tight one, game like that the a most big comeback is, yeah, the, yeah the big swings like if they were just blown up blown them up by 20 like it would not have been that entertaining and that yeah. hyped up but like nobody left that place and that was solid like thirteen thousand people deep dude yep. whole yep. Game. the I big l- swing is what i think gets it in basketball because if it's yeah. like 52 52 52 now 54 54 it's like the baskets don't mean as much, but when they came back, the bro, comeback. down what seventeen at halftime? I think it was yeah, sixteen and a half. And so come, fucked. and then every basket they made, the crowd erupted, and then all the way to the very like go ahead basket, like, and then even continued on to we that. We want dick. We want <laughs> yeah, that was that, funny. That was incredible, bro. Baylor at the start of the second half had nine. They put up forty five in the first. Fucking incredible first half. Sixty five percent from three point line. Fucking compared to nine percent. Nine percent Kansas was shooting. Insane man. So then they come out in the second half. In Ten minutes they got nine fucking points. Like they were so dry, bro. It was t- it was and then Kansas was hitting everything. Everything was go- everything was fucking. They're playing in. good D. There's got to be something wrong with that three that that, <laughs> that net, net on the other side. side. The other side, one hundred percent had to be. There's Four. no chance, bro. Sixty five percent to nine, and then Baylor didn't hit one fucking three when Complete they were on reverse. that side. Yeah. Complete yeah. reverse, like a little, slightest crooked. The biggest yeah. of swings. And Kansas put up fifty five in the second. So okay, Baylor puts up forty five in the net. Kansas goes on that net in the second half, fifty five. It's fucking ridiculous, bro. Wild. Ridiculous, bro. And bro. They, they got their three point percentage up after. Yeah, yeah. Dick was fucking half. Twenty nine. Or 26 or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fucking sick. That was the, I don't, I, I hope we see a better basketball game. I just, I just don't think we're going to see a better basketball yeah, the game. The only better, the only better thing would be to like have a buzzer beater like W. Yeah. yeah. That would have been electric. And like OT or yeah. just Well, I mean, we did storm the court at ASU last That's, year. Yeah. yeah. But like that was way yeah, more hype. It's not even comparable. Like, That's not I, even comparable. I would want to go back and watch a game there. 100%. Yeah. yeah. That was Every other sick. school I've been to, I wouldn't want to go back and watch Straight a game. Up. Except for this one. It's got to be a good game though because like you don't oh, yeah, want to go course, watch like Kansas just blow out someone. Apparently that was the second best game of the year. They said when Kansas State was in town, it was way fucking better. Oh, really? Yeah. Better than rivalry. that? Close. It's it's close, close. Yeah. Was it a close game or no? I don't know if it was a close game, but I just know they're so close to each other and that's a big rivalry there. They said it was like better than the the Baylor game was good. But they were like the only game that would have been better was Kansas State. Where is Kansas, Kansas State? State? It's uh, like, uh, is it Wichita? 70, it's about seventy-two miles out. It's not Wichita. It's like like a small, it's a smaller ass city. Yeah, got it. Yeah, smaller than here. Lawrence isn't that small. Okay, because like a hundred. Well, I mean, it's hundred thousand people. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Fucking looks like shit for a hundred thousand. Yeah. people. Yeah, and then you also have Casey. It's only like forty-five minutes away. So yeah, it's technically like us. It's like Saga. A lot of Chicago people. For yeah, quite, quite a bit, soda, yeah. bro. A lot yeah. of Minnesota kids. Really? Dude. I didn't see any. Bro, I met so many. Minnesota. I feel like I met so there was many a Minnesota couple kids, uh, yesterday, I think. A few ZBTs. A lot of ZBTs were Minnesota guys at the cave. Yo, I'm from soda. I'm from soda. I'm Shit like, ton of fuck. Chicago, though. Yeah, like uh-huh. Midwest area. Yeah, heavy Midwest. Yeah. Shit's like definitely a good school to go to. For dude, like a low key. This is a sleeper fucking school, dude. I, I wasn't like expecting it to be this good. Me neither. I was. That's what a lot of people came up to me. Was like. You get like the typical like yo like what are you getting to give it what are you gonna give it and like I was like low eight mid eight whatever but I mean it's not an SEC school but it exceeded my expectations I agree because I, agree I was that. like Kansas you know middle Kansas, of nowhere kind of like, thing yeah <laughs> and you're like yeah they're known for basketball that's about it kind of thing I think this will push for the best Big Twelve school right now are the best Big Twelve schools Texas Tech at an eight point five so yeah it'll be, it'll I think be that can push it could push it yeah. I think that can push. Mm-hmm. Greek should, life. I think do should. they only have? Do they not have parties at their house? No, they can. They just choose like you can also have private events like at the bars and clubs, but that you can't throw at your house mm-hmm. too. Yeah, because D Rock came through to one of the frats here yeah. and he performed. And their and houses really are good. not dude five size really fucking and nice. beta. Oh my god, we gotta talk about beta's fucking holy, holy shit, we do shit, dude. the fucking roost, the roost. dude. Oh my dude. god, I know. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we met these vintage guys. So Wait, I'm, yeah, are we allowed to say that though? What? Yeah, dude. Yeah. We can fuck it's just their house. Fuck yeah, dude. They've we got. Had, they let us had it for they years. Like they like. Oh, okay, I don't think they just. Allowed, I swear. There's no way it's just hidden. There's no. Like, yeah, based off post shit, there's I, no I, way. Bro, the most fucked up thing we've ever seen. So Max wearing it right now. Sante, bro, great beauties, guys. The vintage hawks. They hooked us up with some stuff. They're in beta here, and um, you know, we meet link up with them. We get our our Kansas gear for the game, and they're like, "Hey, can we show you in the house?" We're like, "Yeah, sure." And they were like, yo, we got to show you the roof. So how it works is there's rooms that you live in. Typically, when you live, like have roommates, your desk and your bed is in the same area. Couch, mm-hmm. yeah, They whatever. have where Bro, they was, live. They're leading up to it, too, though, because everyone's went, we were in their room to pick up our gear. 
Yeah. And they kept saying, we were all asking multiple times, like, yo, where the, the beds? Yeah, because yeah. every room was just couches, couches, couches. literally couches. did a like, house tour. Where the fuck like, you guys sleep? They're like, yeah, literally did an entire house tour, didn't see any beds. <laughs> and then they and said, like, everyone sleeps in the roost. And yeah. I'm like, the fuck's the roost? They're like, okay, yo, if you ever see like follow us they go to the top top fucking floor it's we, basically the attic yeah bro. dude it's a huge attic. it's a yeah. fucking renovated attic we yeah. get in there Literally. and it's freezing fucking cold it's freeze which is actually kind of nice no, actually. It was too cold. until it's hot yeah. in summer bro it goes yeah. to the temperature outside yeah. yeah he said that it just takes the temperature of outside but they also had all the windows open too so like that doesn't really help out it being cold <laughs> so cold like, that was not nice you're, just, you're definitely actually, sleeping yeah, in like cold. 10 Sweater comforters shit, or yeah. sweaters yeah, yeah sweat it's everything yeah. yeah maybe a fucking body cloth I mean. get sick and shit by the morning <laughs> but we walk in and it's how many beds do you think we fucking yeah, I think saw we did the match. stacked I think up on like, each other i think it was actually more like four rows or something okay i'm like six so that'd be 40 ish i think so 48, 48? Yeah, yeah around there 48 lot. fucking in one beds room. in a room bro bunk beds and they're stacked man dude yeah they're in like quads too so it's like one two three four five six seven eight yeah. Insane. Yeah. Insane. No I've never seen that before. I've never. It's like, it's the biggest sleepover, but it's every fucking day of the semester for, for four, four years. years. Four, four fucking years, bro. Time. I could never do that. Bro. Never, in my, bro, bro. I asked guys. You were saying it would be cool maybe for like a fucking weekend. Yeah, it literally <laughs> looked were, like summer like, camp. When you were younger, like maybe. Bro, it looked like Muskoka Woods. But we even had that, more bro. room in our Muskoka Woods fucking Straight up. camps, bro. Straight up, bro. In dude. our cabins, dude. Eight guys, whatever. 16 guys max. Bro, my thing is Way if, more you're, if you're like bringing girls back, like and just like you're gonna hear they four different dudes it. like clapping. Yeah, yeah. They said I they love it. Why do chicks like that though? There's that's no chance. That's fucking insane. And then I asked, "There's never been an orgy." I was like, "That's in, that's a lie." There's there, had that would, to have been in the history bro. of that house. There has a hundred percent been had to, bro. Hundred percent. It's just that like there's so many people that like the girls are not probably gonna want to do it. Like imagine anyone could walk in at any time. So many people are walking through that. Bro, yeah, I wouldn't. You, you just hear him. Like imagine you just hear fucking like like. Someone oh, like coming, do. bro. Like you can you straight have, up hear all the moaning and shit. The imagine, everything. Imagine bro. your top bunk mates just having sex up there, and you're oh just sitting my there like, God. like oh, going oh, at it, bro. Yeah, that's fucked. You gotta so have dude anyone, bro. Top to the left, to the behind. Yo. Yeah, but I'm top. Bro, you just have a frat tarp. That's it. One tab, you're really Holy hearing, bro. Imagine shit. like after yeah. like a Friday night, like they rented out the cave. Like and they're they're bringing a sorority and then they, like eight guys bring girls back. It's just a fuck. It's a fuck fest. It's the fuck fest in the attic. Like, what the hell's going on right now, dude? Man, so man. like I could not believe my eyes what I saw. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> it's was like so... a little chicken coop in Bro, there. You can't even like it would be so <laughs> weird to imagine like you're just trying to talk. You everyone hears you talk. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Imagine show, just go, showing up with your parents and be like, "Yeah, this is where I sleep." They're like. What the fuck is this? Imagine. I pay all this money for this? <laughs> yeah, so imagine, straight up. Imagine you just hear like, it's like two in the morning and you just hear like porn, like kind of in the distance, like someone just fucking <laughs> oh, watching shit. porn, bro. And then everyone hears it and then that one guy's like, I got to jack up. <laughs> Who's watching porn? <laughs> yeah. And then everyone's like, I was going to say that too. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, the roost is lit, bro. I might, bless, bless you. you. I would I fucking know. join beta just because of fucking how sick that roost was. That would be such an experience. That has a lot for of character. Eight months, man. Yeah, no. It's a little much. Four years. Yeah, not, let alone maybe a max a week. You got to get a girlfriend, bro, if you're living in that house and just sleep in her crib the whole time. Or you get the couch. Or yeah. you get the couch. But then old. there's like three dudes that are sharing that couch. So now what? You're sharing <laughs> a couch roof, with three man. dudes. Wait, what do you mean three dudes? dudes? Like the, the those living. couch, like living areas were shared by a certain amount of people. Yeah. Yeah, but they sleep up top. The other guys will sleep up top. I'm saying mm -hmm. if you get lucky. If everyone that one night's like, oh, I'm taking the couch. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they, I think that's why they have double deckers. Like so many couches. Mm. Remember? Just yeah. so they can sleep in the room. They had big ones too, like the L U Massive shaped couches. couches. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was quite the experience. Good row, dude. Good row, good houses. We should have asked there to just like sleep the night. Fuck. And like the roost? film our experience. I think I'm oh, oh, man. That would be disgusting. Fuck, I'm not sleeping on those fucking And the heads, urinal. The, just a single urinal. Yeah, the that single was pretty urinal. Lit. <laughs> that was pretty lit. That was funny. Yeah. yeah. They had a nice gym in there too, actually. For like Super a frat. sick. Like, you yeah. get everything done there. Yep. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Yep. Kansas Fox Boys. Kansas is underrated fucking oh. party school. Straight Sneaky, up. bro. Sneaky. Sneaky fucking school. It was. Definitely. Sneaky good school. Definitely. Dial. Um, did we talk about everything for Kansas or what? Did you guys miss? Uh, I think that's talked about the houses. I think about I feel like that's everything. Much. Unless there's like a funny story you guys have from the hey. weekend, but I think that's oh, it. Yeah, right. nothing I want to talk about. So let's talk nope. About. Nope. Nothing at all. Nope. 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 I just want to. 
Just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Oh, baby. I can tell a story. Wait, what do you what? have? The boyfriend one that I told you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. If it's worth it, it's up to you. If you what want boyfriend? to. What, yeah, what story? Well, I mean, I didn't, do, I didn't pursue. What, what story? It was just funny last night. So when we were at the AP yesterday, the girl that was taking the <laughs> we were taking a pic, and the girl that was taking the pic just noticed she was looking like cute. Whatever. <laughs> So when we were going back inside, she was like, we just kind of like cross paths as we're going in the door. And I was like, just said like, Hey, you know, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. And then Riz. phenomenal eyes, gorgeous Riz eyes by the girl. So I was like, grabbed her hand, like said, like, as I was shaking it, after I shook it, I was like, wow, you have beautiful eyes. Okay. And unknowing oh. to me, um, <sighs> the dude that was beside me, good guy. And I feel bad because... I was actually like had a full on conversation with him before this. <laughs> so it made it worse because I had no idea. Um, but the guy beside me, I think was the fucking boyfriend because she then walks into the door. He follows behind her. They like jump into each other's arms. She gives him like a kiss and shit on the cheek. And I straight up just like grabbed her hand and was like, wow, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> and the boyfriend's right beside me. Dude, what's with you dude, trying to take fucking I think guys, you girls? You are attracted to girls with. I friends. didn't know, dude. I was no, literally no, no. Con- I'm not saying conversating. That you knew. I'm just saying, like, somehow, like, magically. Like, just. Your body just attracts, like, they just know. Oh. It always happens, man. You do get caught with a lot of scenarios like that. It's, like, just you. I knew my place. I got out of there. Yeah, that's true. Thank I God literally God went home there. after that. <laughs> Thank God Steph was in there, man. You're going fucking clock, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna continue. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> that was that was a funny story. Kansas um, Fox, man. Yeah, it was overall a really fun time. Kansas Fox, a lot, lot better than I expected. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, dude. Sunday, big fight, Steph. What do you it's got? Finally gonna happen, huh? It is, baby. I <laughs> hope, man. What Imagine there's think, a last minute. Pull no, out. I just mean like it's been you know how many times? Three times? No, no, third, no, third, no, time? yeah. third, third time. Dude, and fucking uh, there were reports. Uh, Tommy broke uh, one of his sparring partner's jaws. And I heard, I seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's got that knockout but power, he's man. He's got that knockout power, like, man. Yeah. Break your like it's a lot. Of, like could be like a story. Just they're just trying to put out. Yeah. Like what if Steph was his fucking sparring? That's partner? That's what I'm trying to say. Like just trying That's to scare like Jake Paul. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like a tactic like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. I mean, like it also could be true too. I'm just mean like yeah, exaggerated. Yeah. Maybe injured him or something. What do you think? Um, I Sunday, think you I think, think you got to go storyline. So, bro, straight up. New betting method, ride the storyline. UFC fight the other night, hit a two-game parlay. Beast. Won both. Why? I just rode the storyline. Guy, UFC, de- UFC debut against another dude that's just been in the thing on and off. Yeah. Who's who should that, win that fight? That fight was rigged last night. Yep. That fight was rigged. Yep. I saw it energy. all over Twitter, too. I see. Yeah. Dude. Like I didn't throw a single punch. <laughs> I lost a hundred bucks. No, I'm never betting betting on a UFC fight night again. Those are random Wait, ones too. No, man. you should bet on it. You just need to do some. Oh research. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you got to know who like yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, sh- who sh- like they want to have the yeah, 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 exactly. Bro. That's what that's Sugar Sean. Remember that really like yeah, dude. Controversial W against uh, that Russian Peter dude. Yon. Yeah, Peter Yawn. And why? Because Sugar Sean's the next. He's I popular right now. Too. Love Sugar Sean. Yeah, yeah. Bro, dude, even he was fucking confused. the other guy. He was confused. He didn't guy. He didn't think Barstool's he won Barstool's guy. He didn't think Barstool's guy. Uh, Patty. Patty. Well, Patty, Patty yeah. Pimble- they shouldn't think have won, shouldn't won that fight. Islam. He was, he was Islam. I mean, Islam, that was close, though. Close. But, like, I mean, it It could seems, go either way. It seems like USC might be one of those most rigged sports in the fucking... Dana's rigging it. You need guys to sell fucking fights, Well, I think though. it's exactly. also like you're picking your fights, and, like, these guys can pick, like... Some fucking loser. That's you know true. I mean? Exactly. Like, like if they want, like if they want to fight, fight. You know what I mean? They're not gonna. How much research are they gonna do into the fighting? If you true. say you're a pro fighter, or whatever. Yeah. So the guy I bet on UFC debut wins it. Obviously, like you're not, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna give this guy his first fight of the thing and make him lose. Yeah. That's so dust. He's gonna fucking win. Exactly. Mm. Mm-hmm. It literally doesn't make sense for uh, what's his name? Who's he fighting? Jake Paul. Yeah. Tommy. Right. Tommy it doesn't make sense for him to win. Exactly. For who, Tommy to win? Yeah, I don't think so. He's saying the story like once the fight's done, like let's say Tommy like, no wins, one cared like, what about happens him before? It's done. I don't know. I like the story of Tommy though, man. Dude, Showtime is behind Jake Paul. So a lot more money to make with Jake Paul. Yep. That st- I, I'm putting my fucking put the house on. Put Jake. the house I'm on putting, Jake Paul. I'm I also don't think one of the bank, and I'm taking out my life savings and putting it on Tommy Fury. No shot, bro. For a knockout. No. What? Dude, there's what? no chance. It's just, dude, fights. 
If we think the NFL is rigged, imagine how easy fights. Yeah, can be rigged. I do hope that we get out. a good fight though. Like, what do you want to see? Like, what's your ideal like scenario? On knockout. Fight? You just want to see someone just fucking clocked. Yeah, I honestly, don't really care who wins, but I think Jay Paul will win. Nice, that's my guy. I agree. Six round knockout. That's my that's, really. That's my lock right That's there. pretty deep. Six of eight. That's I pretty think, deep. I think it'll be a pretty back and forth fight. I think. Okay. Um, I six rounds gonna pop him. I don't that's think nice. Tommy's got the cardio for that. No, Tommy. I think is. I think. Tommy's definitely got some good can, He has good clips. And Joe Rogan was trying to break it down. I, he looks actually pretty good. So yeah. But I don't know how Jake Paul. Joe Rogan respects his fighting ability, so that says something about it. Guys been in the U.S. Yeah. for 20, 20 like plus he years. He was trying to back him fighting. up. Fair enough. And Porter was like, this guy's ass. He sucks. And then he's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, that was serious. He's getting heated about that. He, they were pissed. He I don't know if Dave is the, the ultra one to judge a fighter. It. Yeah, yeah. Like, Joe's actually been doing... Like, oh, been yeah. He's been around it for so long. And he actually he's a black belt in like a... Jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu or something, yeah. yeah. So he knows his shit. It'll be a fun fight. Something I'm looking forward to for sure. I'm Sunday. Stoked. Sunday. What's Sunday? Sunday? It's in uh, Abu Jake Dhabi, right? No, Sa- Saudi, 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 yeah, Saudi, yeah, Saudi yeah, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. Imagine Jake, uh, Tommy Fury pulls out last minute. Bro. No <laughs> way. No, dude, you Just can't. literally give deep. Jake the W. It's too deep now. I know, I know. It's too deep. It. He already flew there too. So yo, what's yeah? He's there. though too. What bet? With uh, what's his uncle's name? Fucking his dad. You mean John? Or Tyson. That's not his dad. Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson. Didn't Tyson say like whoever like win loser has to like quit boxing? No. So there was a comment. He, oh, I think gonna, he was just joking. He was saying like he I'm can gonna stay, retire my, him. He's gonna yeah, retire him. He can That's just what he stay said. in fucking like Saudi. Yeah, and he's not, not gonna be able home. to like hold the family name or whatever yeah. if he loses. Yeah. That's pretty embarrassing. There's if a your lot. Your uncle says that. Dude. Isn't it is like half brother or something? Yeah, they're oh. half brothers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I think they have different moms. Mm. It's just, uh, yeah. I think it's like Dad more so like, like a crazy guy. Yeah, he looks fucked. Bro, <laughs> he looks so, so much older. Tart, man. Like so old. Well, Tyson's so pretty old, I think. He's like 30 something. So. Yeah, Tyson, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, whatever mom of the Tyson, that was the right mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the Wait, other guy got the right mom. Other Whoever's, guy got the looks. Tommy's? Yeah, I guess He's he got the, the looks. Yeah, to- no, Tyson's mom was the right mom. Uh, Tommy's yeah, mom like... might have been more of like uh <laughs> She's probably more attractive. Yeah, probably <laughs> yeah. So not as much grit. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. not. <laughs> Damn. I'm excited we'll see for that. Sunday, though. I'm yep. excited. Sunday night, I'm actually stoked. I forgot it was, so, like, it was happening this weekend. I'm fired up, dude. It's got to be like probably midday for us then. We could. Uh, yeah, we, we early. I, I can do a check. Quick. We should watch it, though, I think. Bro, there's Quick been a check? lot of I'm big down. fights recently. Who do you that like? That one's going to happen. The Islam fight. Mm-hmm. This fight. And then next week, John big Jones, fight. John Jones. He's making his return. Yep. So that's going to be a huge fight. Is Pereira and uh, is he on the card for that? Yeah, no, oh, that's shit, next, that's dude. Next one. That's Solid one. fucking time for us. 2 p.m. EST. We have fucking like a little noon on Sunday. Nice. Maybe we should, depending how the setup is in Kentucky, we should uh, stream it. Maybe like, yeah, live stream it. All right, live stream yeah. our reactions. Oh, sick. I'd actually be down. That'd be Bet. sick. Oh, I'm actually so, so about it. I'm so down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so about that. That'd it's be a fun one fire. to watch. That would be sick. Back too, like, Hopefully we got a nice guy. I'm shit. hammering Jake Paul. Put the fucking <laughs> house on Jake Paul, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put, Put the some fucking house. I'm probably going to fucking toss like five hundo. I'm putting a fucking just, lot on I'm this. just going to keep it Jake Paul W, though. Yeah. I, I don't fuck like, I don't know if it'll be I decision like, knockout yeah. and stuff. You gotta, I like, I since we know Jake Paul is going to win, we, now we can go with the KO and shit because we know, you know what I mean? Well, no, the know, thing is, he's leveling up. Like this is true. He's out there in your favor. Now that you know he's going to win. He's really leveling up his like, opponent here like this is a like the critics will keep saying everything he's fighting a fucking boxer here. better like than anderson silver anderson like, silver is 45 probably bro. yeah bro i think so dude it's fury's so, 24 it's so hard to bro compare these people because like there's so many different factors he was a ufc fighter yeah a retired ufc he's 45 he was like a champion yeah this guy's like an bro, amateur, fury, amateur what is he 10 and 0 12 fury? fury's like, like nine eight? nine and oh i think nine and oh he's 24 one of those he's nine and oh's is against he's anthony actually, fucking taylor he's actually bigger than him though like most They're guys that Jake fights are so small though. It's true. Oh, shorter. So yeah. he's got like this is gonna be athletically built. Like they're two like pretty built. Like guys I'd say Tommy's here. a better he looks like a better athlete. I agree. Than anyone he's fought. And yeah. then his big jump was like Ben Askren to like Woodley. And the first time him and Woodley went, it went the whole way. So I'm putting it on Jay Paul by decision. Because it's his first boxer. They're gonna go back and forth. Like Tommy might be a hard one to knock out too. I what think- if it's a draw? That's so dust. They gotta, they gotta <laughs> go to so, them. I don't so think this dust. is a fight you go twice. I think this is like he's gotta move. But if on they after. draw, yeah. if they draw it though, oh, that would be the so worst so thing ever. No, no way. If it's gonna be a draw, they're gonna like just give it to Jake. Like That's they're gonna give so, it to him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. You think fringe so? it. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, you don't end Bullshit. the draw like that. Not with fucking. You need to do in a bigger fight. I think. 
Yeah. This is not worth the second fight. I yeah, fuck with true. that. They've already tried. Maybe if it was the first yeah. attempt. Right? Not the third attempt. Yeah, dude. Man. Your boy. Andy Tate. Baby. I know, dude. Andy fucking Tate. Baby. Andy. I'm He's short struggling. for me. His I'm name just, yeah. He's gonna fucking come out. Yeah, I'm not going huh? No. Crazy. Dude, he got fucking framed, bro. Is like, that legit? It's, okay, that's no, what I wanted it's to know. It's not legit. It's, it's not, not legit. It's so fake? it was no, it's not fake. It's it's an ongoing investigation. That's so what I'm saying. So nothing's confirmed. Were those text Ruth? message legit? Yes, that was that was actual like the exact thing that we have right here. I think it's confirmed um, though. Basically. It's leaked wiretaps suggesting the women that accused Tate the Tate brothers I conspired to frame them, and it's like text going back and forth, basically saying like we got him, like this is gonna work, and it's bad. They tapped their phones because I saw the messages weird, were though. through like WhatsApp or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what, and then I was reading shit about how um, WhatsApp supposed to be end to end encryption. Encrypted, yeah. But yeah. I don't think that if I don't you know tap the that. phone, you definitely could. Yeah. yeah, but then that defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Tapping it probably can override it. I feel like just hacking. No, I mean that defeats the purpose can't. of the end to end encryption. Encryption, encryption yeah. Because yeah. like maybe it's just a, to say it. Tapping might be able to go and whatever they did. It also doesn't. I, 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 I don't think. know the true description of tapping. So yeah, yeah, but basically the investigation's on right now, and if it it does come out like that, they were framed. He, he's getting out. Like I bro, fuck, bro I'm I want him out. I want him back, man. I don't, framed, bro. It's hard to see. I think we have to wait for the the info to be confirmed. Just because like I don't want to ride for with him, and then he ends up still doing it or something. Dude, I, I don't, don't want to say anything though. After all the videos that came out, I just like, don't think he's the kind of guy to do guilty, that. guilty, you know what I mean? I don't think he's the kind of guy to do that. Why? Well, I don't. He just like seems like he's actually got a good head on his shoulders, and he's smarter than that. Thing is, some people are smart out there, and there's like they're definitely con artists, and like you don't know. Because yeah. why would you put yourself in the public eye if you have like if you're doing human because trafficking? Because he was I fucking well, killing it with the fucking online shit. Not nah, like why would you want to put yourself more exposure? People are gonna and say all this controversy because I think he stopped it though. Did he not? I don't think he does that shit anymore. That yeah. business, like he stopped that woman. Yeah, business. I think he stopped it a little. So a little he could have like realized which way, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe I'm doing it wrong, and like I'm or like now I'm popping off this. Here, I can yeah. stop doing this because now I'm gonna. Well, he said his plan was to become like the most famous person, like on the fucking planet. And at one yeah. point, he was like, he literally he, was. He was. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, dude, awesome. they banned him off every social media. That's fucking. He was the most popular man in the world at one point. Yeah, this does say. remind me of like a show where like these con artists, like you look at them and like. They're like sick, like they're cool fucking people. That's literally what I'm But I've they're been conning the shit out of like the and entire like, world because they are like incredibly smart. Yeah. yeah. To the point and where they just. They're very good talkers, and which he very is. He's yeah, very like calculated. he could be like that guy where but, they make a Netflix fucking special on him in 10 years. Maybe. I mean, don't get Damn. me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I hope he's like not he's your guilty. Guy. He's your guy. Yeah. But I mean, if he did he's it, he's your he messiah. It, whatever. If you did it, whatever. whatever. You know what I mean? Would no, you, no, like, I'm not going to ride with him, but like... You wouldn't ride with him if you did it? I just don't know yet. I can't... No. Pardon? You wouldn't ride with him if you did it? No. Why? No, yeah. I don't know. I could see you still ride with him. Bro, you... Like, ah, there was that... I think he had before. some principles in life... Oh, yeah. ...that are able to, like, continue... That should be continued. Just because he said it in... Maybe he is a fucking yeah. Rapist. Like there's good things that from what he was just saying. Just because like, there's yeah, definitely good anyone shit. Anyone could yeah. have said it. There's now people starting to like preach his shit even more. Dude, yeah, like, I started going to the gym because of Andrew Tate. Nice. Aiden Ross, dude. I saw his transformation uh, I, video. I, I, I think that was, he's looking pretty good. Like he's getting. He, he lost his barrel a bit. He's nice. Looking a little leaner in the face. So. Shit. Yeah. 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 Steph's on that grind too now, man. My guy. My guy. Good. What'd you guys hit today? It works. Um, no, what were we doing? We're doing like a just did, like some mobi cardio, like mobility circuit. work, cardio, and then uh, hit abs. Nice. Kind of chill. They tried to hit the sauna, but it was fucking slammed. Bro, in there. ten guys just like standing no in there. No shot. I went to wash it's my hands. Bad. I look in there. There's a guy fucking just standing up there. All the seats are taken. That looks so weird. It looks yeah, so. Oh, cool. he stood up. Yeah, he stood up. Question for you guys. So we were walking in the gym today, and me and Zaps were gonna go straight to the sauna, and I had my hoodie on, you know, my sweats, and I was like, "Yo, like, would it be weird to to rip like full full clothes in the sauna?" And then both Chanchi and Zaps were like, "Nah, bro, like you're not doing that." We so we get so then now we're boxers, and you know we put our stuff in the locker. We go into the sauna. Shit you not, one minute later, in comes a fucking dude with a f hoodie, fully clothed. And I'm like, what the fuck, guys, man? This guys is do that, though. I've seen it before. That's so, 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 yeah. so it's not like... I don't think that's weird. I Guys, okay. I've seen that before at gyms. I personally am a fan of the towel, just because then you can shower after. Okay. But like... Like cock know. out? <laughs> I'd no, personally no, no, like, go no, cock no. out. I, I like boxers. Boxers could. is good, too. I feel like steam room, you could go like fucking fully nude. Because then it's like the steam. It's a little like... Visibility is a little <laughs> bit low in there and shit. No, personal. You're I was saying like a personal sauna. I oh, 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 not a sauna? fucking public one. If if I was a personal, personal sauna? I, dude, some, guy, some guys in the steam room, I swear, rock fucking cock out. 
that's wild. Old dudes do that all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah, old dudes yeah. just rock but that. I would do time. even if I had a personal, I'd probably still rock boxers just because it's like I don't. I feel awkward when I'm naked. Mm-hmm. Not awkward, but like just you weird. You though. feel awkward when you're naked. Not awkward, like just Fuck weird. Fuck you, like, <laughs> like I wouldn't feel comfortable walking around the house naked. Really? Like. For a little bit. If, if nobody like, else is home, though? But if your dog's home. It is definitely a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I would agree. Like, also, I'm like, not a big fan of walking around naked. Have you ever tried sleeping naked? I, I hate sleeping naked. I hate naked. it. It's weird. Bro, it feels like comfy. It's like, oh, f- so free, but it's like weird. Yeah, I feel... Not right. I feel it feels wrong, not yeah. gonna lie. Exposed. I don't know yeah. why. It feels wrong. Yeah, it's like someone can just like... <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Boy, <laughs> I was gonna what? No, then. just this guy that sleeps naked. No, no, Wait, do I you don't. Sleep naked? I don't. There was one time. One time up. I asked. You would do it all the time. I probably. tried it. No, too. in the summer it gets really hot, and we didn't. There was an AC problem, and it was so fucking hot. You know what? I took my fucking pants off, man. Yeah, but you, naked. Your underwear, not like fucking keeping in your entire body heat, dude. Yeah, but. No, I know, but like, bro, you get I that was breeze just like, now between yeah, like I just needed like my little balls out. <laughs> Did you, you have know? like no blankets Holy too? Fuck. Since it was nothing, hot? bro. Everything was off. I was just that's laying so there. weird, just, like, dude. Balls like, out and shit. That Wait, point, no like, blanket at all either. No, bro. Wait, no blanket. Could you no, imagine, bro? bro no, your parents bro. just walk. I changed the parents. <laughs> no, <laughs> my God. Yo, Did you lock the door? I don't have a lock on my door. No one walked in. No one walked in. No one walked in. I don't have a lock on my door either. I don't either. But like to fully, she definitely doesn't. Yeah, nah. No shot. She's welcoming the parents. Well, yeah, keep it open. (laughs) Holy fuck! All right, moving on. Yeah, we're gonna move on. That was good talk, though. That was good talk. That was a little good tangent. Instagram announcing the uh, paid blue check mark. Not even surprised. Yeah. You're not surprised? No. Because of Twitter. Just following it. Yeah, I feel like it's probably just a move now. All right. They will make a lot of money from it, but, but. There's there's pros and there's cons to this, okay. I think. Did they th- One, are they doing the same thing though? Like Twitter, like the different types and shit? Not sure about the different types yet. I'm they, pretty sure. I hope just, they do, to be honest. It, it they should, that for sense. sure. Yeah. They definitely should. Um, but for now, definitely going to be taking advantage of it, being on a level playing field with um, <laughs> athletes, celebrities. Are you gonna, it's $15 a month, right? I'm ripping it. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. ripping it, bro. I'm sliding into chicks there. DMs I'm with a fucking it. blue check. I'm for sure buying <laughs> bro, but it. Bro, what? you're on the it's same level as like, like fucking. See, this is why I don't Justin like it. Justin Bieber. Though. It, 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 it has no meaning. It diminishes the it. value of it. It, it has does. No, me- no, but that's why. If, but like, dude, because no bot accounts are gonna be sliding in these girls DMs now, so it doesn't matter. It, it sucks a money for the people. Service. A hundred percent. It sucks for the people that actually have a current blue check mark. Great for us. Because now it means absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Great for us. Huge for the boys. Yeah. Huge for the boys. For the boys. Yeah. But I mean, there. Are like those services though. and shit where people are buying them anyway. So like yeah. Instagram should honestly just be making money from it. I feel like they should do something else. Like as make a it like a make it like a fucking service or something like a or like a at least worth something. You know what I mean? Not just the not badge. just the check check mark. Like maybe uh you know how like a premium or something. Yeah, mm. something like that would be a little more worth it almost. Are you gonna get it? We'll see how it is. I feel like if every yeah. person has it, because on Twitter there's like random ass weird. like small accounts with only 400 followers who have it. So now, like, when I'm looking at, like, posts and shit, I'm like, okay, this person's posting about this. And I'm like, you can't have value anymore to that. Because usually if they have a blue check where it's like, okay, I'm going to click on you because you're probably trustworthy. But now it doesn't mean shit. Well, yeah. before, too, blue check marks would also go to the top, right? Exactly, like, yeah. DMs and shit. So, like, who knows how that works now? It's going to go to the top. I don't know if it's going to go to the top anymore, though. Yeah, but, like, it's, it, it's the, definitely... It over. filters on two things. It's, like, the blue check and then amount followers. of followers. Yeah, yeah, and true. then, obvious by... you can So, top request is by amount of followers. Mm-hmm. And then all requests I'm is just chron- sure chronological it. order. Sure it's going to sure slide into so many it. DMs. No, it's, it's not even about that. It's just, Every like, other guy's going to have it, too, though. So you like just said you're not going to mean it. If you get it you first, though, and I'm then not, just absolutely abuse it the first week, then... Oh, yeah, that would be good. But I think everyone's going to get it. So bro, think about it. Who is ten bucks? People yeah, are gonna twelve try it bucks out. a month is no, quite but a bit. people are probably gonna try it out. Even that's a lot for the year. Though. Try it out. Are you gonna get it? I don't know. I might. Like if everyone's ripping it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, it's a vibe. No, I'm not saying I won't get it. I just. I but if know. I start seeing random guys that I'm following, if it'll happens, be like a like permanent thing. Value. Yeah, yeah, but now you're even if you don't have the check, you're that's like, the part. You're it's like, so you might, down you, bad. You now. might have to Not do really, it. Not really though. It's just like why the fuck are you paying fifteen like you're bucks below to the, have a blue check? But now you're below the but, dude with four hundred followers in a blue check. And it, it's gonna look girls. It's, it might be the move. Like you just gotta have it. <laughs> it's, yeah. It just means like you're real well, now. They're about you know to make fucking millions of dollars off this thing. Oh yeah. How many users are on what? A billion users on Instagram? Wait, is that how much? Bro, half of those are bots. 
Too many bites. Dude, right. every day. Let's say 100 million. Same chick following me. Let's just say 100 million what? real people. Wait, 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 wait. Me and Mac were talking about Wait, this, we were bro. talking about it every fucking day. I got the same bro, chick following me. I have like fucking... Got, I'm yesterday, I got five in one minute. Bro. <laughs> Holy Fake fucking cow. Yeah, this five. I this have chick been has getting always a lot. follows me. Yep. <laughs> this fucking chick. Oh, shit. There's wait, chick. Too. Is that the photo? Dude, I'm pretty That's the photo. But different accounts? Different accounts, bro. I'm pretty sure she's a porn star. And then, oh, snap. Fucking Lauren underscore whatever. I have been getting a lot of bot accounts recently follow me as well dude it's so dumb yeah, they have weird. all those numbers at bro the how end. many yeah. times do you respond yo dude no for the fucking holy <laughs> fuck man every time we post on instagram i'll get a fucking guy like yo dm me fucking facebook and i'll make you fucking a million a nah, month bro and i keep responding bro fuck <laughs> off like dude, every time or the bro. sugar mama bot accounts in the fucking dms Oh my god, dude! Yeah. Me and Mac almost fell for that, dude. From the, right in the beginning, in the uh, beginning, early stages. Yeah, I, know. I mean, I was just curious. I was like, "Yo, Mac's <laughs> probably still texting her." <laughs> you texting her, sugar mama? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Dude, they scam you. It's just like yeah, some Indian dude in fucking trying to like, hey, pay me a thousand dollars a week. Get a check sent to you. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious, bro. Unreal. I mean, Instagram's racking in what a cool one point five billion a month now. That's sick. Wild. So imagine smart. just being able to do that. It's, it's fucking insane. Yeah. Wait, when did it's when does that uh, when does the check start or the uh, badge? Sorry, I'm not sure. Soon, probably. I'll let you know. It's probably an easy implementation. You know, <laughs> you know when Chip has it. So I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chip's gonna be checking every day to make me sure. Me tonight, I'm just be like fucking just checking. All right, tomorrow, fucking it sooner. Back. Yeah, yeah, but uh, maybe yeah. it's because of all those Chinese spy balloons. Good transition, dude. Oh wow, <laughs> that's pretty fun. maybe that's why they I need to they were UFOs, verify though. it's real people. Yeah, dude. UFOs. The fuck's going on with China? Are they all Chinese spy planes? Spy balloons. Spy balloons. whatever. So I know for a fact one of them was the one. Yeah, the, 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 the first very first one. one. Yeah, first one. Um, but the second one that was shot down over like Alaska, apparently, or Canada, was not yeah, Canada. Found. It was in Canada. They didn't find it. Oh, really? Bro, yeah, I they shot like, it down and just fucking disappeared. This is like the shit that makes no sense. I know. Like, how do you not also, find it? the first one, too. Like, they were just allowing them to, like, if it was a spy plane, it was like days where they just let it be. It was months, bro. Was it months? Yeah. Bro, so like, how? why would they Why would they let that happen if it was a spy plane? They were getting their data. Yep. <laughs> Which I don't understand. Biden. Yeah, Biden? Maybe. Fucking Joey. Joe Biden. Fuck, man. Trump wouldn't let that shit A lot of weird happen. shit going on right now, though, man. It's it's odd. It yeah. is, dude. There is some weird the shit The train derailments, all the spy balloons, man. Yeah, dude, that shit, too, in Ohio. Yes, Maddie. They didn't shoot it down because the debris was... They couldn't guarantee the debris was a civilization. Did you hear that? Mm, Did you okay. hear that? So they couldn't shoot it down because months. the debris would they hit civilization. They could have definitely figured it out a way to... It I think. Three days. Oh, that's what I was saying. Three days? Three days? Yeah. Uh, it was also four in the Trump presidency that... Four? Yeah, whatever. Holy Trump's the fuck. man. Holy Wait, what are you fuck. talking about? I don't want to fucking hear that about? shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> he said there's four during Trump presidency that also. Dude, you're so dust for saying that. <laughs> I just like just thought about that right now. That was so dust. He's a Biden guy. He's a Biden guy. Are you a Biden guy? Are you a Biden guy? You're a Biden guy. Just say it. Look at his shirt. You're a Biden Look guy. At his sweater. Who'd you're you a vote? Biden bitch. Who'd you vote for? Uh-huh. Who'd you vote for? I did vote for Biden. But That's okay. I respect it. Who's Not really, on? but. I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, I voted for Biden. My boys gave me shit for it for a long time. Really? His yeah. boys gave him shit for it. Yeah. For a long time. Where do your boys go to school? Alabama. Um, I guess you have good friends. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. I find it weird when people like get mad about that, like who you voted for. Have you ever been like beef with too. someone? Okay. Right, we should probably have him on the pub. We're just asking this guy off the make questions. Yeah. I mean, we're not gonna go into the whole track. Yeah, it's yeah, no, I'm like not. we're fucking Canadian. We, yeah, have, we have no idea what the actual dude, politics, we don't even politics, dude. Are. politics, man. Yeah, I hate straight politics. up, dude. I just want I want to get in a little conspiracy action here, to be okay. honest, about okay. like the whole Chinese balloons and are they the Ohio train derailments? You think it's all connected? Are they covering something up? What are, are they, they doing covering? something like? What do you think it is? I mean, if you want me to start a conspiracy, I, I feel like you have a very connect, strong opinion that on this. So. All so, of these incidences? No. So what I saw, which like couldn't, to be honest, make sense. Epstein list was supposed to be like announced or some shit. The the, the list of people that were on what, like the, the island, log, yeah. yeah, or whatever, or went to the island, and that was covered up by all of these like UFOs, trained derailments with chemical debris going everywhere. 
Mm, you're trying to, you think they were trying to cover it up? Cover, Not cover up it, that, or like hide it, kind of. Yeah, hide it with other news. Other news. Because I also heard another fact where there's actually a lot, a lot of train derailments that happen like every single year. Like it's not an unknown thing because I mean train just the the road railroads yeah. are just not well like we're built very I, fucking I saw long in Ohio time ago. too. There was a picture of it and it was so bad. It was so bumpy. I'm like, how do trains even like, looked like go they were this? fucking yeah. going through this a hard desert? People man. were pissed off because we sent a bunch of money to Ukraine to support them, but it's like, oh look at our train uh, system right here. Mm. Needs yeah. fixing. So I mean, the f- the commercial flights is like safer than train and cars, and apparently this happens like very often and um. The fact that this is like being like um, spread amongst the news, it's like a normal thing, but it's never been spread before. Bro, maybe so why are they spreading it now? Part of the the way that they hide shit up, they have uh, tactics. You know what I mean? In mm-hmm. place, just so oh shit, yo, fucking, we're about to be well the, on blast for stable. going to Epstein's island. Let's go. Let's <laughs> just pull out the fucking spy balloon. Yeah, and say China did it. Yeah, <laughs> there was also a lot of animals dying though for the train derailment thing. Yeah, and water being affected, so that's why it's like a little bit. But wasn't different. there also that some gas leak or something? Not gas, some chemical. Yeah, there was a in, chemical leak in, two, from that. in Tucson. There was uh, also a truck that crashed, and it was like it was weird. I don't know if you guys saw the video. But or not. acid. Yeah, it was. I think it was like, I can't remember what kind of citric nit- acid was or it nitric nitrate? acid. Nitric acid, yeah. And it was like a weird yellow, like glow aura that's coming yeah. off of it. It was fucked. The, the, fucked. the pictures of the Ohio one though actually looked fucked. Yeah, the, like the smoke clouds and the shit. The clouds, yeah, it was massive. Yeah, it was apparently there's like acid rain coming from it. Bro, it was like a. If you look at the one from space, I think, or from the satellite picture, or from an airplane, it was like just black. Black and like animals were dying, and people are afraid that like obviously human body's not going to instantly die because of that. But is there going to be like side effects that come like years? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, months or cancer afterwards, like, where that people. Em- that's how like shit happens. Cancer. No? Yeah. 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 They uh, use it as a, a war in the world wars, so it's pretty fucked up that it's now being released. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. shit, boys. Weird world. I don't know world. how the fuck they, the, those balloons even got close, though. That's what I'm wondering. Like, we have shit, like, that like, will target it. Like, dude, we, we have people watching the skies. Yeah. So, and it's a balloon. Like, it how do you even let it get over land? It's floating. <laughs> From China, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck did they? Did someone here like fucking yeah. throw it up in the that sky? Like, might, I wouldn't. I wouldn't surprise me. That might honest. make more sense. Yeah, Chinese that spies. might. I guess. Fuck. Eh? Also, what like data are they collecting? It depends. What, I don't know. what the fuck they? Yeah, how do you got? collect it? They already the collect sky? all our data on TikTok. No, so. I have no idea. Yeah, dude, I saw a funny ass <sighs> tweet where it's like, "This is the, li- the data that China is like collecting." It's just like a stupid ass TikTok. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like these two girls are like fucking holding in water with their mouth or whatever, like slapping each other. It's like, yeah. dude, take all the data you want. <laughs> you guys think there's gonna be World War Three? It could happen one day, I think for sure. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. But Possibly. it's gonna be the end in our yeah. lifetime. Wait, what do you mean? I, ho- I hope not. The world ends? Well, I mean, uh, this war, World War Three, this with uh, the advancement of technology, like, it's not going to be a ground fought battle. Like, it's going to be Nukes. probably nuclear. Bro, so. that's what I would think. I don't know. That I don't know how that works. You know what I mean? How is some shit off limits in war? Like, there's rules to war. You there know is mean? rules, but war start from breaking rules. Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, once you break their rules, there's still rules. Yeah. I mean, to be <laughs> honest, I feel like the invasion, the spy balloon shit. Like, could have, you know, wrong person behind the red button starts something. Mm-hmm. And now we're in World War Three. Yeah. Just Fuck. like that. And then they're sending nukes in seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. You That's got seven minutes end, to say goodbye. Say your goodbyes, yeah. <laughs> you That's don't be a fucked up time. Yeah. Jesus you don't even Christ. know. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's great. Great. That let's was not talk about that. <laughs> that was like, pretty not deep. Talk, yeah, we're no, not gonna I mean, go on. Like, 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 yeah. I don't think there will be a World War Three. To be honest, I think I I would like to hope. Same. Bro, if you People have, le- I just think live. that if you have leaders like uh, Putin, Joe Biden, shit oh, can fuck. go Sorry. fucking just like that. I think like, <laughs> should no one say bro, this. like if he's, go, <laughs> if he's gonna Joe go Biden. down <laughs> losing, like he's probably just why not just fucking send nukes? Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, he's got family, no? Bro, he's a fucking like Russian. You gotta be like KGB. super crazy though to like he's send a, a nuke because you know that shit's coming right back at you. Yeah, you gotta be the first. And you're better hit. now. You're now murdering every like. Everyone in that radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It better hit or you're he's dead. He's fucking ex-mafia. Who? Putin. Yeah, he's actually... Probably yeah. killed KGB. All the government's fucking mafia, dude. I know, so they've killed people. Just a legal form of it. Trudeau, too. He went to the fucking Epstein Island. That Trudeau's guy's so fucked, man. Then. Get a blackface. 
<laughs> he did one here. It's pretty Dude. fucked up. That's actually a stat. That was like why not? Pop up the picture. True. High school, not high school. Like yeah, university? he was in college, college maybe. College. 18, 19. Yeah. Just, a, just a boner, true dog, man. Fucking. Right. I think we're gonna. Is it time to move on from this? Though? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to rip... Uh, is it going fa- to be fan questions? Yeah. Boys, it's fan questions right now. Uh, people right now watching on the YouTube, our last video, by the way, boys, episode 24, crushed it. Um, we're over 2.6K subscribers, so if you guys are watching the Squad Brunch podcast on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ask any questions you guys have. We do have a lot of recurring guys, so I want to see some new names asking some questions here, guys, but um, starting off number one, I'm so fired up for this <laughs> fucking question. Too. Chanchies, I kind of heard a bit. It's really good. Question from Jake Lawwell. If a zombie apocalypse were to happen and you got to pick five things that you get to have, what would they be? So, Steph, I already know you're going to have something in here that's going to be like fringe and it's going to piss me off, but let's hear oh, it. Oh, yeah. I this already have know. Fucking, like, zombie, Unlimited money. Zombie Unlimited repellent. Money. Zombie, zombie repellent. Zombie repellent. I can't die. No, that's, not, that's not what I'm doing. Let's hear it. You might just, it just might be like cheating. I'm going to be in a fucking zombie I'm going to be a fucking, uh, yeah, I already know. <laughs> okay. Let's hear it. Anyways, so I'm going to start off with a machete. Okay. Or that's knife, kind of. I no, don't know. machete's dope. Yeah, I think machete's good. I can use <laughs> it as a weapon, Could have been a better too. choice there, but yeah, continue. I like machete. But I'm also going to get a crossbow. Ooh. Crossbow, reusable. Yep. Unlimited ammo. Not Like, I could grab it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it turns into Katniss every day. Like, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, but eventually, like, a gun. I want a gun, but it's going to. Ammo runs out. Yeah. Yeah, and you got to look for new ammo. Fuck that. But next, I got a survival kit. Okay. Which would have a flashlight. Um, Good. What the fuck are you gonna do with a flashlight on zombie apocalypse? Bro, power's gonna be out. Nighttime. Yeah. Eventually, power will get you out. Need a yeah, but you there's need a still Earth's like supplies around here, right? Um, yeah, that's why like I there would need a be, flashlight. They would stop producing. Bro, shit. the power's okay. out. So like, if you've never watched a zombie show, you ever watched Walking Dead? Yeah, oh, no, I, ha- I have. Like when they <laughs> loot and shit, it's dark. Oh, in the dude, store. don't you worry. My answer <laughs> is well thought out. Okay, so then I have um, a car, but this is no ordinary car. <laughs> okay. This is like a. Z- like a truck with a fucking machine gun on top. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby, let's go. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, that's pretty sick. And then also, but you need ma- ammo for the machine gun. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> that's pretty. I like how he answered his own question. He's like, "Yeah, that'd be pretty sick." <laughs> uh, I know. Until I run out of ammo. Uh, yeah, but it would look pretty sick. Oh, so sick. It'd probably be in, exactly. So like, you usually in, in a zombie through. apocalypse, people like start, you know, fighting. Yeah. So this this would be intimidating as fuck if I pulled up with this. Yeah. Okay. Next, last thing, I got this stole this from Mac, but I a dog. What? I need a companion. A dog? Are you fucking? What happens when the zombies get the dog? I'm not gonna let them get the dog. <laughs> so now you have yourself <laughs> I, and a dog bo- to worry about. Yeah. Fuck. I'm fucking not. It's a companion, bro. Bro, are you kidding me? That would be like you. You would go. Cra- I would go crazy. If without a one, but if I was by myself, exactly. My yeah. man just picked a dog over a chick. Like he, you think you'd want like your girl or something? Dude, Steph's like not giving no, me. Need somebody puppy, loyal dude. in your life, bro. Yeah, a chick's gonna like, fucking leave you. Just chick has nowhere to go. They're all no, zombies left. Find, man. It, yeah, like I'm not a person is different than a fucking. Are you gonna rail dog, like a zombie animal. chick? No. Okay. <laughs> I was just curious. Also, dogs can be helpful too because they can the sense zombies. if zombies are around. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine you see a zombie with a fat ass. I am legend. Will I am. I am legend. That's exactly where I got the dog. Will I am. Will Smith. <laughs> Will I Yo, okay, is that all five? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my five. That's fire. Okay, what about you, Chance? Go with your fucking all right, dude, majestical I got a fucking story. Whole ass plane. Yours maybe. better not be fringe. No, nah, bro, it's fucking smart, it's man. It's smart. Okay. It's pretty all smart. All right, here it is, baby. I would get so I the way I pictured this is like five things. Zombie apocalypse hits right now in our current situation. Yeah. Five things that I need spawn right here. Okay, or in the vicinity. So, I went with a cargo plane. Okay? Boom. Big ass cargo plane. That is holding an attack helicopter. Bro. A speedboat. Dude, this is cheating. This is not cheating. I looked it up. A They transport helicopters That's using cargo items. planes. Well, yeah. Five items. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I thought this cargo plane with the jet and whatever it was like. No, not no, all, no. This is not all together. Yeah, okay. This okay. is not all together. Okay, okay. So, a cargo plane. Yeah. That is holding, which is my second item, an attack helicopter. Yes, okay, I get it now. A speedboat, a sword, because I need the length. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck do you have a speedboat for? I guess some water. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Ready? And full body armor. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? Not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly the cargo plane with all of the rest of my equipment to Turks and Caicos. 
Okay. Okay. There's 45,000 people that are living in Turks and Caicos. Assuming all of them t- immediately turn into zombies, I'm gonna kill 500 per day for a th- for 90 days. Three months of hard fucking work using the equipment that I have to just kill the entire island of zombies. Okay. 45,000 people. It's gonna take me 90 days, three months. Got it. After I do that, I'm setting up shop. Turks and Caicos, my island. Zombies can't swim. They're not getting to me now. So I own Turks and Caicos, but obviously I'm going to run out of supplies one day. So um, it's close. Turks and Caicos has some, some neighboring islands in a neighboring extremely large country, the USA. It's close to Cuba, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the British Virgin Islands, and most importantly, Miami, Florida. So when it comes down to it, I can make a quick trip to Miami, get my shit using my speedboat or my helicopter or even my cargo plane. Where I can fuel up, get my gas, get my supplies, and then just head back to Turk and Caicos where I'm living a lavish lifestyle in one of the many mansions that are owned by celebrities. Okay. Would you go back oh. to Miami to fuck a Latina zombie? So I ass? did say if I was getting bored, I would start taking over the neighboring islands because like British Virgin Islands have like 35,000 people, which would turn into zombies. Yeah. So maybe I like make my way there, shoot a couple per day. Use my sword on a couple per day. For sure. Mm. And then head back to Turks and Caicos. So I'm going to be honest. Just have some fun. Why Turks and Caicos, though? So, so nice Solid, there. solid island. Okay, okay. I was going to say, because you could have got a, gone a smaller population, probably island. I chose like a mid <laughs> one where I'd have like a lot of fun. <laughs> Basically, expanding no, my playground now, with the islands around it yeah, as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Sick and like a little bit of a challenge. Good location, too. 45,000 people. Yeah, 45,000, 500 a day for 90 days straight. That's so. a lot of people. So you would 500 per day is about... Um, it's one per minute for eight hours a day. So I'm working hard. That you're dead. Like you're not dead, but like you're not killing that many a day. Oh, <laughs> you're buddy. not killing that many a day. I have full body armor oh, and dude, a sword. That's what I was gonna say. Dude, that's a good idea. Yeah, but what if like five hundred or a thousand swarm you at once? Bro, the body I have a, also a fucking speedboat and an attack <laughs> helicopter. The attack heli definitely <laughs> comes in. Where are you getting all this there? gas from, though? From Miami, Florida. Whenever I need it, dude. Yo, you should convert it. Convert the engine. To what? Uh, Electric. Hydrogen. Or elect no hyd- hydrogen. Hydrogen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, that was sick. Mac, what do you got there? Okay, I went with a little different route than that, but I went with <laughs> a, a pickup truck. You know, get me to point A to B. Yep. Be pretty nice. I went with a katana. Yep. I need a weapon. What the fuck is a katana? Bro, it's a sword. sword. Like a samurai oh. sword. The best, yeah, samurai sword. It's the best Same. kind of sword you can get. Very sharp. I'm gonna fucking be slicing through these zombies like it's nothing. Yep. I'm gonna get a gun for the sole reason of intimidation factor. So if somebody tries to rob me, okay. I'll have a gun so I can shoot them. Like, so. like my truck. What? Like my truck. Sure. Yeah, like your truck. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to have a dog as a companion. Yes. It's probably going to be a lonely world out there, so I'm going to have a dog. Bro, he's probably never going to turn. He can also sense zombies around me, so he's going to keep me safe. Watch my six. That's the one thing I'm going to bring out <laughs> of the- Watch my six. Watch my six. Even if I had one oh, item, I would, I would bring it out. Yeah, you not get that. <laughs> yeah, I it now. Holy and I'm also going to have a water filtration device, because eventually they're going to stop producing clean water, so I'm going to need a nice filtration device. And I'm going to go to the Appalachian Mountains. And okay. just chill out there. <laughs> I can kind of see Mac like surviving. Like Mac would be the guy with his dog that just fucking made it, you know? Yeah, just random. No, in the Mac, middle of yeah, the woods. Mac, if, if my dog sure. ever died, man, I'd go on a rampage though. Wait, a rampage of killing zombies? Yeah, yeah dude. You well, I mean, go you crazy. got like what, 14 years then, Max? What do you mean, 14? Yeah, I guess 14 years for a dog's life. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would be fucked. Yeah, yeah. Imagine losing your only companion. Yeah. I would hate that, dude. I, I would just, hate that. I'll just bro. be by myself. But I get start. another companion, maybe. But you just spawn another dog? Like a dog, yeah. I would say, dog, I would say that would make it harder to survive, but what? having a dog, for some certain... I think it'd be like, have you, like I am legend. It what made it harder, though. That guy was I helpful. He had to kill his dog. Because he, he got bit. Yeah, so what dog. if you had to kill your own dog? Well, I mean, I would have to. We're gonna oh, deal no, with that I wouldn't, time actually. Comes. I would trap him. He's going to turn into a zombie, though. But he got the cure. Yeah. Hmm. There's no cure There's to this no shit. There's no cure to this shit, though. Yeah, there could be. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm the by all the doctors that like, turned into zombies. Am I the only one alive? I don't know. No, there wasn't much. Guys, this, this is just shit. a fucking. I had, what are to you my, I had to add my own parameters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. be honest. I really like all five of your guys' answers because I think they would actually really work. There's only three of us. Of all, all oh. three of you guys' answers. Sorry, <laughs> top five. I kind of went. This is how I'm playing it. Okay, hear me out. My top five. Starting off hot and heavy. Back in the days in Call of Duty, I'm getting an intervention from MW2. Extended mags fully loaded and shit, okay? I'm gonna be sniping these things. What the fuck's an intervention? The fucking sniper. The intervention. Oh, sniper. Next up, okay? What, Unlimited. What uh, camo has he got? <laughs> camo, like the fucking tiger? Uh, tiger camo. Tiger, gold tiger camo. Or whatever the fucking best one was. Gold plated, yeah. Gold, oh, gold plated. Next. 
I got unlimited Bud Light. Gotta be kind of buzz fucking cranking these fucking That's zombies. That's not even realistic. Why is that not realistic? It's unlimited. It's just all the Bud I just get the Bud Light. The rest of Bud Light in the fucking you're world gonna be, is mine. So everywhere you go, you're just gonna be like, I just got fucking Bud Light. I got Bud Light. <laughs> I just got Bud Light because I'm buzzed every day. Okay. I'm going down with a fucking fight. I'm having fun with my life. Okay. Next up, Addy Rays. Oh I need God, Adderall. Dude, you're, if I'm, dude, you're I can do mean. anything on Adderall. <laughs> so now I'm just Superman sniping the shit. I'm quick scoping <laughs> these fuckers when I'm on the Addy Rays. <laughs> Number four, I got Chick Fil A unlimited. Hear me out. Bro. When I'm hungover, what am I gonna eat? I need Chick Fil A. Where are you getting all this shit cheating. from? I'm just. How is that cheating? Like none of your shit made sense. Uh, do you not oh, like my bro. lineup? You right would now. die I'm in a zombie apocalypse. Dude, I'm going down unlimited. Why don't you want unlimited ammo? No, dude. That's yeah. the thing. I got like, fucking. He's hungover, dude. I'm he needs hung, food, not ammo. I need food right now, dude. I'm hung. I need my chicken didn't nuggets. Think about that. No nose nachos. <laughs> no, dude. Addy Ray's get me way more locked. Shit. And then and then number five. Playboy magazines, because what else am I going to fucking wank off to at night? No more internet, dude. <laughs> like the 1960s yes, Playboy Yes, OG Playboy magazines. So that's why I got. I got my intervention, my beer, my Addy Rays, my Chick-fil-A. Unlimited supply of Addy Rays? Unlimited supply of Addy Rays, Chick-fil-A, and then fucking Playboy magazines. That's how I'm going out. If I fucking die, I had the best time of my fucking life. 500 kills a day, easy. <laughs> One out of a thousand. I mean, I'm, I'm drinking, right? I'm not fucking, like, I'm not going to be that. You like, got a tactical nuke, bro. Yeah, so I'm, cool. I'm getting a nuke every day. I'm yeah, I'm locking in. You get a couple. Nukes. Locking the fuck in. A lot in. of nukes, man. That's fucking. You like my list? Roasted me nukes. for my dog, but you said porno magazine. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong? I'm just. What are you gonna be? You drink? roasted me for a dog because I didn't bring a girl, and you're saying you're hoping to jack off to these magazines. Better than that, you're gonna jack off with your dog watching you. <laughs> he already does. <laughs> oh my god. That is weird that you already do that with your dog. It's probably more normal. He's just in the room. Is it normal for dog owners to jerk off with their dog staring at them while they're... That, see, why do you make it weird? <laughs> That's not making it weird. That's Bro, the reality of the situation. He doesn't stare at me. He doesn't stare... You've never locked eyes with your dog while jerking no, off. No, I don't look at him. <laughs> Yo, but maybe he looks at you and then you're just like... Nah. Don't you think he knows what you're doing? No, he's have horny you, too, Have you dude. seen Maddie's dog when he rubs his balls on the ground? Dude, it's the he weirdest thing. He makes the thing. weirdest eye the contact weirdest. with you. He's <laughs> rubbing his balls, and then he just looks over at you just like... He probably learned that from Maddie, man. Back in the day, Maddie would finish jerking off and go rub his dick on the ground to clean up. <laughs> Holy fuck. Unreal. And the dog saw it and was like, fuck. Maybe that's how you get turned My off. My owner's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the only two dog guys with dogs here find it normal. To jerk off with their no, dog. No, bro, you guys I'm think just, it's so weird. I'm, I'm not, not making your, it weird. I'm not making it weird. He's at the he's at the end of your bed, and like even if you just glance past your phone, you're making <laughs> eyes. You're locking eyes with him, bro. It doesn't happen. I'm just saying. And even if it does, you don't. It's think happened. Or no, what if like, he comes up when you're doing it? Like he's not gonna just sit there the whole time. Like, what if he like, came and just gave your little <laughs> tip away, bro? Like, okay, bro. What's wrong what with you guys? Fuck, yeah. First of all, first of all, even if I look at him, what am I supposed to just do? Like. I like, hope not I, bust. I, I swear to God, I hope not bust, man. I swear like, to God. What do you expect to happen if I just make a? I, I, definitely no bust. Like, That's why no not gonna my happen. My feelings don't just change. Like, oh my God, I want to fuck my dog now. <laughs> Like, that's what you guys make it seem no, like. No, I'm not saying you're going to fuck your dog. I'm saying <laughs> oh, you're aroused shit, staring dude. at your fucking oh dog, dude. God. It's not because I'm staring at my dog. You're doing you, a sexual act with an animal in the room. Boom. That, on the same bed as you. Yeah, but I'm not. It's not towards him. It's not related to him. It's not dude, correlated. This is what to I'm him. saying. Now in the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> oh, he's sorry. your fucking right hand man. So you're sleeping on like a fucking mattress. Your dog's literally on you while you're jerking off, bro. What? Okay. If you're with the dog, dude. Shame. I would not want you to have a dog, dude. I'm you. I wouldn't jerk <laughs> off with the dog in the room, dude. You do. Um. All right. Next question. That's oh, a great fuck. question, by the way, from Jake. That's one of my all time favorites. That's a good one. Yeah, um. Yeah. We're gonna go from Hunter Anderson. If you were in the UFC, what would be your walkout song? So Steph, we'll start with you. Probably don't know this song, but it actually brought it up because you guys were chirping Kodak, Kodak Black, but it's called Already. I never chirp Kodak Black. I just don't think, I don't, I think Eminem's way better than Kodak Black. No, yeah, I know. I honestly am not the biggest fan of Kodak Black either, but this song is just a vibe. If you guys listen to it. Okay. Will we like it? Probably. It I'll called? play it after. Oh, play it in the car tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? It's called, wait till the chorus. You got... it, it, it basically just says he's like, bitch, my name is Kodak, but you're now already. <laughs> Oh, yes. I've heard this. Yeah, I can see stuff pulling up to this. I can see me maybe doing like a dance up to the up to yeah. the ring with You're this. Going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what, like what do you got, uh, Chanch? I did like a, a cool one. So I like kind of like thought of my walkout as I'm going in. I think I'd go like that deep kind of like war kind of song, which deep I played war. in the song in the car yesterday. 
deep and you war? guys were like, oh, oh yeah. this sounds like a war song. A war? Is we it just like ready. Oh, it just gets Not, you in the mood. It's, a, it's this. Uh, it's called Deadwood. By It's called Deadwood by really slow motion. I don't even think that's a real fucking band. I For think sure. it's just like a beat that yeah. was uploaded to Spotify. Nice. It's this shit. And then it goes like the hard part is like wait, is it just a this beat? would just be pl- this would just be playing and then like I'd wait until like the thirty f- something second mark and then I'd start walking out. Wait, but is there mu- and it's like their vocals? Oh, this is a YouTube song, bro. <laughs> this is like YouTube compilation <laughs> shit. What the fuck's doing? Did Maddie just snot rocket on himself? Oh my god, Maddie just snot rocket on himself, man. Dude, Maddie no just way. snot rocket on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Dude, Zach <laughs> just drooled too, man. Did Zach just on the drool? camera? Did Zach just drool? What, what the, the fuck, fuck is going? going on? Yeah, dude, what are we doing? So, so you guys like, really me like me that and song, Zach eh? made some weird eye contact at one point, <laughs> the then the snot fuck? came out, and then then Zach just turned around, and just like drooled, just came out of his fucking mouth. Holy fuck, what a podcast, man. Steph's drinking with his dog. All right, yo, next uh, chance you want to go? I said it. Said oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph Mac, you want to go? Uh, I would have either Mozart or Beethoven, some classical <laughs> music to walk out to. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yo, I cannot see you There's walking no out to way. Beethoven, just man. Some fucking, it's an intimidation factor. you would factor. have some country music going on. Hun. No, no, way. Way. no, no way. I just, classic Beethoven, let me play, or Mozart, let me play a song. You would be Yo, another thing. You would be a guy that likes song. fucking Beethoven. Dude, he's got Mozart. weird. He's got weird song titles though. What is it called? Look, Moonlight look Sonata. Like Wolfgang <laughs> Asmatis fucking Mozart. <laughs> Bro, this guy's on Spotify. <laughs> he listens to Wolfgang Mozart, man. Wait. He's fucking walking <laughs> like this. Yo, this is not a bad song actually to walk out to. This would be pretty intense. Is this Wolfgang Mozart? Yeah. Bro, if I you saw this, heard this, this song, and then you seen Mac. And then you know, I'm gonna fuck your shit up in the ring. That yeah. is actually hard as fuck. All right, I I kind of went for the more like comical route but like vibes route so like if i am in the ufc i want to be a good character i want people to fuck with me so i'm going high energy i'm going sweet caroline i want the entire fucking stadium ripping sweet caroline when i go in the ring and beat the shit out of this motherfucker and then we celebrate with sweet caroline that's actually sick the celebration yeah everyone just saying sweet caroline doesn't tyson fury do that Oh fuck! Oops. I don't know. Or he does ace. He did sing a song with the crowd in one after one fight. I don't know if it's I don't think he does it every time though because I, I haven't seen it. Okay. Before. Yeah. I think I also take inspiration because B Dave did that in his first fucking KSI. Why? I think it was sick. So you just Caroline? stole it from B Dave. Well, oh, this is UFC. But what, yeah. what song would he sing? He did, Sweet, he did Caroline? Sweet Caroline. Oh and like, yeah. But okay. he didn't have like a like some of the crowd was singing it. But like, I know what his vision was and it was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a big enough name, it would be really sick. Like if case I did that, would be hilarious. Bro, like Sweet Caroline comes Not out. Not a like, song to probably do in the UK though. Do they yeah. know oh, yeah. Not ca- Do they fuck with that shit? Vibe. They probably no. want some like Central C. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, next question here. We got... Oh, this is a good one. Um, From Eric Callahan. If you can make your own flavor of Happy Dad, what would you make? So, Stav, what are you going with? Pretty basic, but I think I would go mango. I said two. Uh, mango or peach? I think mango would be. I think mango would taste better than peach. That's what's up. Cause I like. Yeah. There's actually. Is there a peach flavored seltzer other than Cottage Springs? I was gonna say yeah. Cottage Springs is peach? the only one I know. Oh yeah, Nooners, Nooners. peach is good. Is it? Does Bud Light so not have a peach? So good. I don't think so. Because huh. I know Bud Light has. They, their flavors are insane. They have so. High Noon peach is the best flavor. That is really yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah. good. A peach would probably be good for Happy Dad. What do you want? I can see them doing a mango though too, just because it's such a common flavor. Yeah, mango fucks. Mango sure. might be their next one they come out with actually. Mango fucks. What about you? I went with like uh, a lemonade line. Mm. Oh, I didn't, that would be good too. Yeah, yeah. No, that I fuck with that hard. I would want. I would. I really like the uh, the truly lemonades. Love them. Yeah, so I think Happy Dad should come on lemonade line. Nice. What about you? I went with the strawberry banana Happy Dad. Ooh. I think that'd be a pretty interesting one. I don't, there's never been a seltzer release with that flavor. There so. isn't. And the smoothies. Fuck strawberry banana. That's like my favorite smoothie. And so. they already have banana. Yeah, so I think it'd be a nice like, collab. That'd there. be pretty sick. Yeah, I went kind of a similar line of you. I did a uh, a hard iced tea variety pack. Mm. I fuck with. I think that could be if done well. It needs to be done well. Needs White to claw. Be done, oh, White yeah. claws is terrible. But if it's done to the like maybe a healthier version of a, like a twisted tea, I think could be really fucking good. Oh, so the two turnt teas? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> two turnt like, teas. But like I'm saying, if happy added flavor, like. Yeah, a variety pack like that. Hard. I love like iced tea, so that would be sick. Do you like well. two turns Tony's pa- uh, brand? Two I haven't. Two? Um, we haven't it? tried. Have you seen it? Has it, 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 it looks like? Sorry, the looks. So it's like a very bright, like it pink looks like and almost. It's it's it looks dark. busy. It's black it looks, based. Oh, it looks it's busy. Black? Kind of the ad, like the box and shit. It does look busy. I don't like how he made it around him. Like it's like two. It should have just been a brain. Like should have been like Happy Dad wasn't like the full drink. It's not his own drink. It's collabed with Noka, which is a drink that he did like in the past. So it'd be like us like collabing with fucking Happy Dad. 
because he's worked with Milka in the past. It's just kind of not cringe, but like I feel like faces shouldn't just be on like the promo. I agree. You know what I mean. Like I side men have they have like X their vodka yeah, or whatever anything. it is like Prime, you just anything. don't make it yeah you don't like, their faces are behind it but it's like just not on the package yeah it's just like shit. I'd eat. like to try it though because Twisted oh, yeah, Tea is a phenomenal drink and there isn't an option on the market that has a low cal low sugar is that, tea. Is that what it's doing is that what yeah it's like it's it? like I don't like the three the grams of sugar at all. yeah I don't yeah, like the packaging so ugly yeah it's ninety five no, calories like, three was, grams of yeah, sugar yeah that was the one thing that stuck out to me the packaging it has electrolytes too. And it's five percent. But I would try that. that does no bubbles good. is really good though. No oh, bubs. Yeah. No bubs. Oh, it's so not that, carbonated. Well, it's no, tea. It's not carbonated. Oh, that's. Fire. I love twisted tea too. But that's so. sick. If it's good, ninety-five yeah. calories. That's that's fire. Definitely a good option. Yeah. Um. All right. That's everything for the fan questions. Now we're gonna make our way to debate questions. We've got a couple good ones here. Who's getting a fucking call? Random. Random. Random number. Answer it, Finford. <laughs> no. I'm just no. Kidding. Finford. Um, <laughs> first debate question, here, guys. What is a question that you refuse to answer no matter the circumstance? Why did you start laughing? No, me and Matt just made eye contact. Nice. Did his snot come out of his nose this time? No, no, he's <laughs> just a little annoyed. Oh, with the fin fur. Fin fur. Steph, what do you um, what do you got? I honestly like couldn't really think of a good one, so I kind of just said, um, "How many genders are there?" <laughs> honestly, what? Wait, why? I don't want to get canceled. There's only two genders There's though. Two. <laughs> I prefer not to answer. Nice. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> nice. I've heard you say many times. Very good stuff. You I literally never, asked never, the question. <laughs> I asked it. I never answered Very it. Very good stuff. Yeah, no, you said there's more than there's more than one, right? Yeah, I never really officially answered it, uh, though. Uh, whatever. Nice. <laughs> what about you, Chase? How many are there? More than one. Nice. <laughs> there's more than one. <laughs> nice. What about you, Chance? Um, I said, how much money do you make? I just think it's like a weird question. Very yeah. awkward question. Family. Yeah. I would say when you're like older though like i feel like in your crowd like that's fine to answer but it's definitely weird i don't think so no unless it's like your close boys but yeah like like just meeting for the first time and oh, like people I, start asking that shit it's like so weird that's weird mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. it shouldn't matter it shouldn't matter but i think if it comes up like family like you said family or like uh maybe close friends i think extended family is weird too yeah i, I like i wouldn't mm. say people are just curious family. though that's why they want to know yeah, like I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't want to like, I wouldn't ask somebody that personally. I don't like. Ask. Why do you need to know the number? Like, it's just like it's a completely irrelevant. I do, I do my thing, man. I yeah. do my thing. It's like if you like, what do you want to like go to like fucking watch a lease game? <laughs> like, like ask me to do so. Like, it's like the num the amount of money. Like, I feel like it just doesn't matter. For I, sure. Uh, yeah. For sure. Anybody else? Uh, so when you're talking to a girl, the what are we question. Ooh. Just a hit. It's a bad. It's a bad one to answer. You don't want to answer that one. So I what try to you, try to you, avoid it. How do you answer that? I don't know. It's always an awkward situation because it really depends on it, like the girl. But like, just yeah. It also what what, what are it, we? When is asked? I don't probably. know what the fuck we are. Someone asked me that. <laughs> so got no answer like for it. I like that one. Um, I also was, they're setting either, you up. So. They're setting you up for failure. Yeah, that's a good one though. I think that's the best one. That is far. a good one. I didn't think about that. that yeah, I, I saw about that, that last minute. To be honest, that's a good one. That is a great one. I went that situation. Um. You sure? But you didn't? Never been a Never. girlfriend, I mean. Oh, Never. yeah, right, right. That comes up like every podcast. <laughs> to remind the people you don't have a girlfriend. All girls. Never are. It's kind of like you're fishing. Not I don't have a girlfriend. I've never had a girlfriend. Do you want a girl Do you to want slide a girlfriend? in? No. Huh? Do you want a girl to slide in? No. No? no I don't want to, I'm not looking for a girlfriend. For sure. I have one. You trying to like fuck though? Like, no. Are you not? Oh, like, you know, you're just chilling. Yeah. My man. He's always I'm, wait, he's I'm waiting for marriage. Now. What do you mean? No. Oh, okay. No, that was good. That was good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, what is a question? Oh, for me, I went with what's your body count? That's like that. I, like, that's the one, the first question I thought of. That's something I would say, like, if I'm like close to the person, but if we're like just meeting, like, it's a, kind of you're talking to a girl at the bar and like that comes in your first yeah, it's awkward. discussion. It's like, like, I'm probably just going to lie or just not answer. You know, like, it's just <laughs> not coming out. Like, the truth is not coming out. You know, Why are you going like, to lie? The first time it doesn't matter. Well, Why would you lie? It's, it's, I don't need a, a some. That's a question that leads to. Yeah, assumptions. but you're starting this whole relationship off now with a lie. Yeah, I mean, I just like that, what it. What if that ends up being like your wife? That's just a what if. It's crazy what if, but it could happen. You shouldn't. That your wife's probably not asking you that question right away. You never know, man. <laughs> At least my wife. I'd hope not. Yeah, I hope she wouldn't ask me in general. Yeah. But really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, been... I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's in the past. It's in the past, you don't need to talk about it with your girl. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, exactly. Like. I, I'd be curious. I, I, I'm curious, yeah, but like, <laughs> it's probably just gonna fucking hurt you at the end of the day. So it's like, fuck. What if she's like, yeah, I got 50 kills. It's like, uh, that kind of sucks. 
and then now it ruins your whole relationship. I'm like, what are you doing? You ask it from the start, then <laughs> you don't ask it from the start. What you do just you mean? Don't ask. I don't say yeah, that, but that could, yeah. that could like maybe because if I tell her mine, she's gonna be like, oh shit, and then it's like, fuck. It's just like, weird. Just don't talk about it. Mm. Doesn't yeah, but some guys like that. You know what I mean? What, high body counts? Low body count. And a girl. Oh, yeah. Some guys really care about that shit. Yeah. So I'm trying to say. So. Like, I do care about it, but like, exactly. I'd, just rather, I'd rather not know. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, yeah, but that's your wife you're going to be talking about. Yeah. Like, what if it's like 150? Holy like, you're I, based, based off her morals, I could read if she has a lot or not, I think. I can read it. That's fair. Like, well. you, also, like, social media, you can kind of tell a little you can bit. Tell based but, on social media. If no, no. I mean, like, what you kind could, of person they are. Yeah, when you talk to them too, you can kind of get the vibe of like, all right, does this girl like sleep around a lot? Like this not? girl posts slutty pictures on fucking Instagram. Is she getting yeah. pulled down? If she's posting thirst traps, like there's yeah, a high chance. They're walking a tightrope right now. You don't want to say how many genders there are and they're fucking dropping if a girl's got slutty pics. She's what just getting that, dick Are we going to act like girls don't do that? I think there's a large amount that don't. Not, I'm not saying all girls do the same thing. I'm saying there's some that are. I'm saying you can tell what... I'm saying if a girl does post it, you can tell. What There's she a higher percent chance I think that there is a possibility that she sleeps around more. I feel like. Yeah, she's showing. I, he like, doesn't want to say anything. I'm not. I'm just showing. No, they could be. No, sealed. They, we're not saying that you for sure a whole way around if you fucking post like revealing pics. No, not but. at all. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, next <laughs> question here. Tight, we just fucking absolutely um, just walked the I don't even understand what's so right bad there. about that. No, you're just yeah, speaking your mind, chill. man. Andrew Tate, baby. Uh, what's something that was awesome <laughs> as a kid but sucks as an adult? So, Steph, we'll start with you, Andrew Tate, baby. Oh, um, I said video games, but in a different way. Like, in a way that I feel like it was obviously, it didn't matter as a kid. But, like, now, mm. it's like, I like it still. Like, don't get me wrong. But I feel like it's, uh, it's lost just time-wasting, yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's also like sometimes you get it's a d pretty addictive like the type of games that come out now. Mm -hmm. So I just think that in that way it's like it's not good. Fun, yeah. yeah, I like the mm -hmm. change. What about you? I went with the cold. Can you elaborate? <laughs> like just the cold. I f I went with the cold because I feel like when I was a kid, like obviously growing up in Canada and shit, like super cold winters and snow all the time and i loved it yeah I hated hockey season it. around Fucking the corner all the time i would never like really complain about the cold like i'd be completely okay with it but i feel like after kind of like seeing the other side of the world the west coast california and yeah. it always being sunny all the Bro, time and never i never had any benefit dark. to the winter like i only went maybe snowboarding skiing like a couple times when i was young like you guys, you guys had hockey season. Yeah. yeah. But like for me, there was literally nothing. I yeah. know playing in the snow was fun though. I will up. say though, like yeah. it made us go indoor. I loved. I honestly loved the winter. I think. And now I hate it. I do too. But I like going skiing and snowboarding. But I like it. In it's stints, cool when you can yeah. just travel like some areas. Go, go to the cold. Yeah. Go back to the warm. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's why I think uh, the luxury of seeing more has uh, hurt my spoiled you a bit. Yeah, spoiled me. For sure. For sure. What about you, Mac? I said uh, sleeping in past 12 p.m. I fucking hate that now, man. Like, if I sleep in even past, like, 10 on, like, a weekend, I'm just, like, oh. Bro, yeah. It just makes me feel bad with myself. Even sometimes now, like, when we fucking have, like, a late night and then you, I wake up at, like, like 11, 10, 11 Yeah, it's, it's tough, though, after a night out to, like, wake up, like, hell early in the morning. Like, but it I just feels it. like the day's gone almost. Exactly, Not, yeah. Like, a lot of... A big chunk of it. Like, I remember as a kid, I'd be fired up. I'd, like, sleep until fucking 12 o'clock. be like, oh, this is so good. I had such a good sleep. And it's like most of your day's gone now, yeah. I feel like. So <laughs> I like getting a good jump on the day. Nice. That's a good answer, actually. I didn't think, yeah, because usually, like, it, like in summers, like when summers came around in elementary school, like, oh, I got to sleep in. Oh, yeah. exactly. You know, like the, the week, or even in. the weekend comes around. It's like, oh, yeah. sleep in. Or, yeah, sleep in until like 10. Yeah, 10 but 11. I think there was a difference because, like, sleeping in then was like, I guess now because we kind of just, like, do our own thing, we, it's like sleeping in. I don't even know what I'm... I don't know it was like a luxury kind of thing. Because like you got to wake up like every day at this, this set time. Yeah, like we were waking up at what? Like 7... Yeah. If you got to school on time, 7 <laughs> o'clock yeah. every morning. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So, I mean, now it's like more of like you could wake up at like 8.30, you know, if you wanted to. Yeah, nine, it's like you set your own time, basically. Yeah. yeah. Fuck with it. I fuck with it. I went kind of a similar one to you, but a little more like specific. I went snow days. A snow day is a fucking kid no school you're probably playing video games with the boys are just linking up and doing something fun it's like fuck yeah you're not going to get homework it's just you know what it's a fun day it makes actually a lot of sense F of course it does but now snow days it's like Bro, just fucking suck i gotta shovel the fucking driveway yeah, yeah. dude you're shoveling you're you shoveling salt, the driveway you fucking shovel. I, hear my, benefit. I hear my dad saying you gotta wake up at five in the morning and go shovel the driveway and and <laughs> you're doing fucking work it's everything's virtual you're still at work like there's no like 
there's no fun. You know what I mean? But snow days as a kid, it's like, I'm doing absolutely nothing today. You're not going to school. Suck my cock. I'm fucking Dude, beating Or the if world. you work in the trades, you have to work in the fucking snow. I've or, done it before, man. I've had, we've had to shovel out sections to fucking work because we're working outside. Damn. And that it's sucks. Brutal. <laughs> snow days suck brutal. when you're old, man, but they're Bro, the that, greatest time when you're grade uh, four. That would be so bad. That would be terrible. So bad. <laughs> I, I would not be able I'd to. I'd be do so that miserable. Thing. Why? So, like, Working in the snow? Yeah. Dude, it's fucking bad. Like, your hands are freezing. I oh wore, like, double God. gloves. Multiple pants. I had hand warmers in, bro. It was shit. That's fucked. Max of But you got to make your money, bro. Yeah. Kid eats, bro. All mm-hmm. right. Last question here, guys. Then we're wrapping it up. Uh, if you guys could get rid of one state, which one would it be and why? I'm super curious about your stuff. Kind of have no idea. I have no hate towards the state. It's not about... Okay, sure. So, I kind of just said Maine. Yeah, no, no, there's a reason actually, a little reason. I mean I've never I didn't even know it was a state. And then I looked at the map and I was like, they might as well just give it to Canada. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it should just get rid of it, give it to Canada. Fuck off Maine. Exactly. Nice. What about you? Probably make more use it looks it. more like it belongs to Canada. It's it pretty nice. For sure. It's more of a Canada vibe probably yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. Word. I went with uh New Mexico. Well, why? Because Albuquerque sucks, dude. It's it such a fucking terrible city. And if that's the biggest city that they've got, there can't be much more else like in that state. Plus, it separates two of the best states, are Arizona and Texas. And imagine if you could have Cali, Arizona, Texas right beside each other. A lethal combination. <laughs> nice. What about you, Mac? I said Ohio. Pretty self-explanatory there. A lot of crazy shit always happens. In Ohio, and I feel like there's just like NPCs everywhere in Ohio. <laughs> what a Michigan no, answer! No, dude. no hate to the Ohio people out there, but just mm-hmm. Ohio you, I know, I know you guys see. Most, I eight. know you guys see comments on TikTok of like, oh, only in Ohio this happens, like and all this shit. So it's just a, it's a special place. <laughs> Ohio fucks off, Michigan fan right there. I like that answer. Go blue, uh, baby. I went with Wyoming, and now okay. basic. The only good thing to come out of Wyoming was Josh Allen. Don't get me wrong, but like. What have you ever met a dude? It's like, oh, where are you from? Wyoming? No, never. No, ne- just never. NPCs. No one lives there. I don't know who fucking is Isn't there. Jack- is Jackson Hole Wyoming? Jackson who? Hole, yeah. Who's yeah. that? Who the fuck is it's that? A, it's a place. That's where uh, oh. Alex went. Fun fact for you, actually, Wyoming is the smallest state population wise in America oh, at five hundred thousand people. Maybe it makes sense. Get rid of them. That's one of the best like snowboarding. Scenes. But it's it's very beautiful there. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I want huh? I'm fucking control alt deleting Wyoming. <laughs> What but, replaces uh, it? Like, what what state would you extend around there? Because it's pretty shitty states surrounding it. What's what's the surrounding states? Um, Idaho, maybe um, North Dakota. Where is it up north <laughs> of the U.S.? Fuck with a little more North, yeah, Mon- north Dakota Montana. in my life. A little, little North Dakota. No, I can do sal- a little more. It'd be South Dakota. Why not Southern Dakota? Let's do that Southern shit, Dakota. man. Maybe. It's, maybe uh, Idaho, more potatoes, Finn Bird. Oh, that Colorado way? is there and Utah. <laughs> oh, let's just make Colorado bigger and Nebraska. Make Nebraska, pencil in a little more Colorado, Nebraska. Colorado, Utah, Idaho, and Montana. Maybe more Mormons for the boys. So no, maybe a little yeah, more Utah. Dude, no. taking how big that it's state so is, and there's nobody that lives there. It's huge. It's a man. huge state. Wyoming? Like the entire center. Yeah, look of the how US. big that is. Bro, it's a piece of shit. It's Who huge. the fuck lives there? It's huge. Five hundred thousand people. You said least, the least there? population. It's the least, bro. It's Wyoming's it's a fucking dead center. Taking Mississauga, our small little fucking thing there is. Double, double, almost. So nuts. Wow. So nuts. Oh, you okay? You good. Nice. All right, I thought, dude, boys, that's it. All right, that is it. All right, episode 25. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment. As Chip said, comment below what questions you have. We want to see more of you guys rolling in. 2,500 of you watching. Only yeah. a couple people commenting here and there. Um, some really good questions. Honestly, spark a lot of good conversations, mm-hmm. debates, and stuff. So I appreciate you guys listening in. Next week, we are headed to Kentucky, back in the SEC for the only time this tour. Yep. And um, another big, big basketball oh. game Kentucky versus yep. Auburn. And um, Henry Henry House Kentucky. on Kentucky. Fuck them Tigers, Pass baby. Fuck them Tigers, Kentucky. baby. Auburn, hey, we. Fuck them Tigers. Auburn, hey, we starts now. <laughs>